what is love it's so simple that you will be disappointed actually it is not jazzy to hear or glamorous to look at love is a relationship a healthy relationship is love any healthy relationship is love and a healthy relationship is possible only when you are healthy so the relationships of a healthy being are called love the definition is so simple you don't find anything very embellished about it what is a healthy being a healthy being is one who is not restless who is not continuously suffering whose mind is not continuously wandering in tension in misery when you are settled within and you have a sureness within then in all your relationships this sureness this power this peace this completeness shows hmm what i have that reflects in all my relationships if i am healthy then that health shines in all my relationships that health is called love so i saw a video of you uh, only your healthy mind can enter into uh, friendship so how can we get how can we become healthy how can we have what are the ways in which we can have healthy mind what are those ways do you know what does this question imply i want to become healthy are you sure the question is valid yes what's your name priya priya are you sure the question is valid i deeply wish that you say the question is invalid you are saying i want to become healthy without quite realizing what the question implies all right you go to a doctor and you say doctor i want to become healthy what does that imply priya that you are sick i deeply wish you say the question is invalid because you are not sick none of you are sick all of you are already healthy it's just that we have been made to believe in a thousand things that amount to sickness but in spite of our beliefs we are still healthy you don't need to become healthy you are healthy an effort at becoming something implies the absence of that don't you see that If I want to get something what does that imply I don't have it If I want to become healthy I am trying to say I am sick and you cannot be sick because sickness is nobody's nature We are healthy just that the health can be obfuscated covered by a thousand many things They are just you know loose layers of dust they can be easily blown away You are not sick nobody is sick all of you are good nice healthy intelligent people you are not sick don't believe when somebody tells you that there is something deeply flawed within you that you are sick or this or that no 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 time and conditioning give you some kind of dirt but that dirt is not your nature it can be blown away very easily you are not sick see you go out and you travel a long distance and the road is dusty and then you watch your face in the mirror and what do you see layers of dust don't you see that but does that mean that you are that dust you are not that dust that dust can be cleaned you are not sick you are healthy what does health mean health means that which you are without any education health means 
that which you are without any kind of education or training health means that which you are if you are not told anything about health health means that which you unconditionally are health means that which you would have known even without being told about it health means that which all animals and all trees and the entire existence knows without the aid of any teacher or any book that is health you do not require a book to tell you that freedom is your nature nobody likes to be kept hostage nobody likes to be taken captive hmm that is health freedom a free mind is health and you can never lose this health because never in your life priya will you like bondage even in your worst situation even in your darkest hour even in your last breath you will not be able to force yourself to like slavery it is impossible impossible freedom is health similarly even in your worst situation you will not be able to force yourself to like misery or suffering so joy is health joy is your nature similarly even in the most peculiar of situations you will never like lies and falsehoods you always want to know the truth and you cannot change it be it you or your neighbor or some man in africa or some child 1000 years back or 1000 years hence everybody wants to know the truth truth is your nature without exception and you don't have to gain it it is there you cannot lose it you are healthy nobody can lose his or her nature hmm you are healthy then the question turns around to what makes us believe that we are not healthy the various voices that keep on telling you that you have to gain something achieve something become something you know that's the question you asked how can i become healthy that question is on the same lines as how can i become a manager how can i become a good wife how can i become a successful person how can i become a billionaire you see the commonality becoming i want to become something we have been constantly been taught to become something and becoming implies the absence of what you want to become becoming is all right in small matters but in essential matters of life becoming is a disease unnecessary disease a disease that is just an assumption but such a deep assumption that it ruins the entire climate of the mind it runs so deep never believe that you are unhealthy never believe that you have become deeply sick yes your mood can be spoiled all right moods come and go but moods are always superficial deep within you are good illuminated all right nothing wrong with you you are not sick nobody is that becoming clear <laughs>